What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis, of course, this is TWA Motorsports. And today, well, we've got the seats out here for my son's NNBS truck, which I've showed you guys in a couple videos of stuff we've kind of got to install. We've got some parts hanging around. I'm kind of sick of them sitting here. So we're gonna get these addressed today. And all we're doing today, guys, is we're gonna be cleaning these. Um, they're nasty, they are used, I bought them used. The seats aren't as terrible, but the console, man, it is, it's gross. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll show you guys. You can see the rails on it, how nasty they are. I just, I could not, look at that. I could not drive a vehicle like this. I don't know how, if you guys do that, you know, I, I don't get it. I don't get how somebody, I, that, I don't even want to get in a vehicle that looks like that. But either way, we're going to be cleaning this stuff up today. So here's what I did off camera, guys. I test fit these in the truck, and they're a little bit different because his truck is a 2009 so the 2007 to 2009 NNBS truck seats are different than the 2010 to 13. The difference being they added an airbag to the uh, bolster on the outer side. So you can see where it's tagged airbag right there. Well, what that does is it makes that wider. And so your seat covers, the, the bottoms are the same, but the tops are different. So initially I was gonna put leather in this truck. That, has, that was what my plan was, but the more I got to thinking about it, the more I thought, you know what, this truck doesn't really need leather. These seats are in good shape other than this bolster right here was ripped. And so I took it to my upholstery guy and he replaced this panel and this panel and put it all back together. The foam was also all beat down. He fixed the foam there as well. So actually the seats are in really good shape other than those spots. And so I thought, let's just clean these things up and use them as is. We'll get the dark color that we want and we'll get, um, a little nicer seat. So either way, I did test fit these, and the reason I did is I wanted to know if the power was gonna work. And guys, it is plug and play for the power on the driver's side. You don't have to do anything. You plug it in, it goes. The passenger side, however, we're gonna have to route power to it. So um, it's not a big deal. We'll show you that in a video when we install these things, but either way, we are gonna have to do that. But today, like I said, we're gonna be cleaning these things. Um, I will tell you guys, you see the yellow plug, that is for the curtain airbag or the bolster airbag. So that will not be used when you install these, but we'll get more into that, like I said, when we do the install in the truck. But today, we're gonna focus on cleaning. I've got my spot bought out, guys. This is an amazing little machine for cheap that does a great job. Now, I do have a really nice steam cleaner from Echo Steam. I just don't think I'm gonna need that for this project. I've also got a couple bottles of Super Clean. That's what's in the gray bottle. I mix it myself. Uh, and I'll list all this stuff in the description. I've got some Chemical Guys interior cleaner and then some Silk Shine. Don't know how much of the Silk Shine we'll use, but got a pile of microfibers, guys. We're going to burn through them. I've also got my drill brush, which I don't have set in here. I need to grab it, some gloves, and uh, we're going to go at it. So a lot of this video is going to be time lapse just because, you know, I I'm not going to bore you guys with um, the actual the real time because it's going to take me probably a better part of a day to get these seats clean like I want them. Um, but we'll probably start with the seats and do the console last. We'll save the worst for last. And uh, let's get started. I like to start with a pretty good vacuum. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get set this stuff to the side for now. I may use my brush. You may see me use my brush uh, and little cracks and crevices to kind of get the extra or loose dirt out, uh, especially in like the seat rails and whatnot. But that's where we're going to start with my shop back here and uh, we'll give it a good vacuum first and then we'll grab the chemicals and start spraying this. And I say chemicals, it's really not that big of a chemical, but we'll start spraying it down and extracting. Now that we got that good base vacuum in, um, looks a little better, it still looks gross, but we're gonna start here by just soaking down this area with some super clean. Guys, you can use, you know, whatever your preferred product is. I've got a drill brush, and you notice I've got a smaller one. I just have a little more control with it while I'm using it. Basically, we're just loosening up this dirt a little bit. You don't have to get real aggressive. 
the extractor is going to do most of the work. I'm just trying to loosen it up so it doesn't have to work as hard. Now on your drill brushes, they generally come in a pack of like big ones, small ones, cone shaped ones. And you could probably clean these by hand if you wanted to. We are going to turn our machine on here. It's pretty loud, but what we have here is this releases water and this is a suction. So you could do this with a vacuum and a pump sprayer, I guess. Um, this just makes life a little easier. It's all in one. But uh, let's get started, see if we can extract this seat bottom. We'll move from there to the sides, the front, the other side. Well, the other side probably won't need much since we had it recovered. Um, and then we'll move up to the top and the back. Hopefully it won't take us forever. I mean, I've went over this entire seat. Um, is that you can't really tell if you've got everything until it starts to dry a little bit. So in the meantime, I've went over all the corners other than the part you know that was reupholstered. I'm going to take some of my chemical guys cleaner here, and it probably wouldn't have been a bad idea to go over this first also, since we're kind of sweeping junk back towards the seat. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, clean these areas out really well and then we are going to final vacuum it with that wet dry vac because you don't want to use a make sure you don't have your filter on if you're using a shop vac because we're going to soak up a lot of water I mean that thing does a good job at dragging most of it out but you won't get all of it and so we're going to go over it one final time and I'm going to let it sit out in the sun hopefully the sun cooperates with me We'll set it outside, let it kind of dry, and then we'll go look at it here in a little bit. But these areas right here where people eat in their cars, which I do not, you know, stuff falls in the cracks and crevices and just makes an absolute mess. Oh, probably could have just taken this off, I guess. There we go. Probably makes a little more sense. Makes it a little easier to clean.
I'm gonna do this on both sides. Obviously this is a side nobody will ever see, but I'll know. So I had a bunch of junk around the seat belt. And I wish, you know, on the power seats it kind of is different because you can't, if they're not hooked up to power, you can't really clean on the inside of the tracks, which I like to do. Sometimes I'll tip them over if they're really bad. I may do that off camera. And then as we get to the point of installing, or maybe later on in this video, we'll put a little bit of silk shine on this stuff and make it look a little nicer. You're gonna have a majority of your plastics right here clean. See what I'm talking about? This area underneath here, we can't move it. So we're just gonna have to reach the best we can and then knock the rest of it out when we get it in the truck. Get this plastic on the back of the seat, which I hate. Now, these are gonna have pockets where the ones we're taking out don't, because these came out of a Tahoe. But I didn't show you, I did go over the back of the seats. I think we're done with that one. Like I said, I'm gonna give it a final vacuum. We'll move it out of the way and move on to the next one. Time to empty, got to the point where it's full. Um, if you ever think you're not doing anything, take a look at that water, right? This is definitely cleaning up really nice. So here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I, I may show you a little more time lapse of the bottom because it's so nasty, but uh, at that point, we're gonna move on to the center console. That's gonna be an absolute wreck. Um, I think this is my first tank, so I was able to go through the whole seat with one tank uh, I need to fill up my water as well, um, but yeah, we're making some headway. Got the seats out drying. Now we are on to the console, and you're probably wondering, like, where do we even start on you know nastiness like this? Well, guys, I'm gonna start with a vacuum. And the good thing is there's less obviously carpet or material to clean, so we've only got this and this to do. So we'll probably go over it a couple times, but the very first thing, like I said, we're gonna start with the vacuum. 
uh, maybe even the brush with the vacuum. So I'll brush some of this stuff off to get some of the you know loose stuff, especially on the rails. And um, man, it's it's gross. This is the worst part. This this part here because this this was actually sitting outside when I picked it up. I did okay. So this came out of a four door truck, and so it's got cup holders on the back, and then the like the regular cab trucks they have a three-point harness so i took off the factory um lap belt and put it aside now i'll need the receiver on this end but i went ahead and took the lap belt off but you can see what we're dealing with here as far as man it's nasty so let's get the brush let's get the vacuum we'll start there and um then we'll start cleaning i think we'll probably clean some of the plastics first before we go on to the, it, it, it may be back and forth. take our interior cleaner from chemical guys and we're going to go over these areas here now look it's going to be i don't know if you noticed but there's a there's a bunch of like um, dried out spots what i'm thinking is we're going to let this dry maybe for a day and then we're going to follow it up with some silk shine to kind of dress those areas because these areas right here they get so dry We'll go over this. I mean, this stuff helps to kind of put some condition back in it, but it's not going to do nearly as good as the silk shine. I did do a vacuum after going over it, obviously, with the uh, extractor. I'll probably do another vacuum. And then we'll, uh, we'll get some silk shine on it. Definitely looks better. Now 
Now while all that stuff is drying, I'm uh, I'm going through a basically three stage cleaning process with parts. So I start with this is actually I've got just an extra bottle here mixed up, but I've got some super clean in that. Then we've got some interior guys trim and interior cleaner, and then I spray this with silk shine. Let it set for I don't know maybe 30 minutes, and then I wipe it all down. So I've got a clean stack here. The ones I'm going to be installing now I've got duplicates but I'm cleaning them all just to see you know which one is the best one let's take a look of what, what's been going on so I went ahead and cleaned all of these parts even though I've got duplicates of some I went ahead and cleaned so like the seat belt and I put some silk shine on all of them and I also did you know like the airbag close out uh, the part of the dash, the upper piece of the dash. We're not gonna get to that, obviously, um, for a little bit, but I wanted to get all the seat panels clean before we put the seats in in the next video. So, got all those clean, that took a while, guys. Um, you know, look, some people don't take care of their interior like I do, and so anyway, those are all clean, on both sides, actually. I also cleaned some other random parts, you know, the underside of the dash, the glove box, Anyway, let's go take a look at the seats because I got those finished. They've been drying. Now, I did not go over the outside or like the plastics on this yet. And all those closeout panels are like for here and to cover where the seat screws go or the bolts. But man, look at the difference in the seats. We got rid of all of the stains. Um, I will tell you that this is a little bit different color than these. Uh, it's a little bit different material too, but I think it'll be fine. I think it'll match. Definitely a huge improvement here. I have not put any kind of treatment, any of the silk shine on this. Guys, look at the difference. It's amazing. Cleaned up really nice. Bottom as well. It wasn't quite as bad. Somebody put something in there. It melted at one time. But anyway, we've got it finished. So in the next video, guys, we're going to talk about the wiring on this. Like I said, the driver's side is plug and play. But the passenger side, we're going to have to do some stuff with, but we will talk about that in the next video. So, guys, if you did enjoy this video, like always, please go down there and smash that thumbs up button. While you're doing that, subscribe, ring the bell notification. That notifies you every single time we drop a new video. And stay tuned to see us put these seats in next.